Let's take a look at the oxidation numbers for CH3COOH. It's acetic acid, sometimes called ethanoic acid. And often you'll see it written a little different. You might be seeing it written like this. Either way, it's the same number of carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens. So let's work with this right here. The formula for acetic acid is written this way, and it does give us information about how the atoms are arranged. So this carbon, it has three hydrogens around it. This COOH, that's called a carboxylic acid, and it has a particular arrangement. So when we draw the molecule out as a structural formula, it'll look like this. So you can see our carbon here with the three hydrogens, and then our carboxylic acid has an oxygen double bonded, and then this OH group here. So the first thing we need to understand is when we're finding the oxidation numbers in a neutral compound, these are neutral because there's no plus or minus charge written out here. In a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers for each element, they'll add up to zero. And that's gonna be important for us to remember. So we'll look at our rules and we can see that hydrogen, when it's bonded to nonmetals, and carbon's a nonmetal, oxygen, it's a nonmetal. Hydrogen, when it's bonded to nonmetals, has an oxidation state of plus one. So let's add that to our diagram up here. We also know that oxygen, except in a few cases, has an oxidation number of minus two. So we can add that in as well. So remember, we said all of this adds up to zero. It's a neutral compound. But the carbons are different because they're bonded to different elements. So let's look at this carbon here first, and then we'll check this one out. So this carbon here is bonded to three hydrogens with plus one charges. So its oxidation number needs to be a minus three. This carbon here is a little more challenging. We have a minus two, minus two, and plus one. You can think of it this way. For this carbon right here, we know that its oxidation state plus the minus two, plus this minus two, plus the one, all of that is going to equal zero. So some number plus these equals zero. A plus three that would all work out to zero. And that means the oxidation state for this carbon is plus three. And if you add all of these up together, you're gonna to get zero. So these are the oxidation numbers for each element in CH3COOH. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.